I've said it multiple times, I don't chase, I attract. What does that actually mean? That means whenever I put myself out there in the environment and we're alive, guess what? I am getting chose. I am getting chosen signals. But there's actually a strategy on how you can actually get more chosen signals. And that's why in this video, I wanna to present to you how you can actually start getting more chosen signals whenever you go out in public, whenever you go out to parties, nightlife, etc. Because I promise you, whenever you actually start getting more chosen signals, not only does it feel good, you feel more confident, and you feel like, yeah, I'm that guy, but the women you actually deal with who give you those shoes and signals, you'll have an overall better experience. And that's why I'm a bit advocate on not chasing, but more so attracting. And before you black pillars get in the comments like, Step one, be attractive. Hear me out guys. Of course, being attractive is important too, but hear me out on this video because not only are we gonna talk about some attraction principles, but I'm gonna talk about some social hacks too. And I'm gonna save that for the end. So watch the whole video, subscribe, like, let's go ahead and get right into it. So what is a choosing signal? It's whenever you're out and you notice a girl looking at you, maybe her friends are looking or you walk past a group of girls, you see them eye contact, like they're choosing you. That's why it's called a choosing signal because the woman is choosing you. And me, myself, I literally never used to get choosing signals ever when I went out. Like the idea of a woman looking at me as I walk past, never happens but ask any of my friends the red pill avengers friends anybody who has ever gone out with me they will tell you firsthand that ad he gets shoes and signals all right so the first step in which you got to do is fix your appearance yes step one you must be somewhat attractive guys so in order for you to be noticed, which that's what a choosing signal is, is the fact that a woman notices you outside of all the other men that are around, and then from there she chooses you or makes eye contact or even sometimes approaches you. So you must fix your appearance. But the best way to do that is number one, increase your sex appeal. So the easiest way you can do this is simply by showing more skin and whatever you go out. Right? At first, if we look at it at a deeper level, you have to get your body right first, right? You gotta have some sort of biceps, be low percent body fat, because that's gonna make your outfit look even more better. And think about it, an uh, overweight guy or somebody who's a little chubby, they can show all the skin in the world, ain't nobody choosing them. So with that being said, get your body right. You should know this by now, and I've made plenty of videos since 2015 on how to do that. And then from there, whenever you do go out, make sure you show a little bit of skin. Don't be super covered up in you know, these layering outfits or whatever. And I, I've tested both. That's how I know this actually works. Whenever I go out in a form-fitting t-shirt, biceps hugging, or a button-down shirt showing a little bit of cleavage or whatever, or maybe a button-down with my sleeves rolled up with the nice jewelry, tattoos, and overall just having high sex appeal, I get chose a lot more from that versus me going out with a super nice outfit on, layering, and showing no skin. Even if the outfit is fire, if I'm showing no skin, I promise you, my choosing signals are severely reduced. And that's because now I only have my face card to go with, and keep in mind, I'm a handsome guy, but you need all the things that work in your benefit. So not only your face, but also your skin, your body, your physique too, because that's how you get noticed. Now, what I really don't recommend is the peacocking. You know, back in the PUA days mystery, they'll go out with these outrageous outfits or maybe a crazy printed shirt just so you can get kind of noticed more. And yeah, of course that could work. You're gonna be noticed a lot more if you're wearing some outrageous Versace shirt or crazy print pattern or something, but that might attract the wrong attention to you and those choosing signals might not actually be genuine. And the fact is, is that yeah, you're drawing attention to yourself, but for no reason, right? It's, it's just like, oh, cool shirt. So you wanna attract the right attention to you by showcasing the most amount of sex appeal. And a pro tip is that I've noticed personally that darker colors, like so, like a black shirt or any dark color tends to look the best versus light colors. So if I was to go out and wear white or cream colors or like pastel colors, like they choose the signals whenever I go out and that sort of thing is severely reduced versus like a dark outfit. Now I talked about using your face card and how you don't only want to use that. However, some of you guys really need to work on your face card in regards to your blemishes, your skin tone, your skin texture. And that's why you already know today's sponsor is Teach Hanley. Teach Hanley is a system and service that I've been using quite literally for four years now, ever since 2019 or even 2018. 
I believe, consistently every single week, every single day, multiple times a day. And I can definitely tell you that it has improved my skin tone and texture by a ton. And that's because whenever I do go out, you know, especially to get choosing signals, I always wash my face with the T's wash, and then from there I'll follow up with the PM moisturizer. That is my nighttime routine before I go out to any clubs, any bars, or whatever. So, with that being said, you guys need to check them out and check out their full levels. Personally, I like to use level three. You're gonna get the cleanser, you're gonna get the super serum, which is gonna help avoid those fine lines and wrinkles. You're gonna get your moisturizers, AM moisturizer, you're gonna use in the morning or during the day because it has SPF in it, and that's gonna help prevent fine lines and wrinkles once again, and also sun damage and aging, which can make you regress in regards to your handsomeness very fast. And then at night, you're gonna use a PM moisturizer, which is personally what I use before I go out. Also, if you have acne or maybe you're interested in their body products, they do have products available for that. But if you just want something simple, easy, one, two, three, four, five sort of system, then check out their levels in the TEAG system. Trust me, you're not gonna regret it. A lot of men have been put on it, and now it's your turn too. All right, so go ahead and click that link down below in the description to where you can get your first box for 30% off alongside with the free gift. All right, let's get more handsome. Check them out, link will be down below. Next thing in regards to appearance, and this is more for my shorter dudes out there, maybe you're five foot six, five foot seven, but you really need to enhance your height, right? I'm not gonna be one of these dating coach liars and tell you that height doesn't matter. Literally everything matters, especially in a nightlife or nighttime environment. Remember the conversation you're dealing with. You're dealing with, you know, taller guys or maybe guys who go out there more often, so they really know the game. So for you to kind of even out the, the playing field and especially be more noticed, if you're under six foot, then you need to wear some sort of height increasing shoe. So that can be like a thick sole or a boot or even add some extra lifts, like a one inch lift underneath your shoes. Even me, I'll, I'll tell my secret out there guys, whenever I go out, I not only wear a thick sole shoe, I call them my going out shoes, right? I only wear these shoes when I go out because the thick sole gives me about two inches extra in height. And on top of that, I add a one inch lift into my shoes. This is some real game that I'm really spent to you guys. So originally flat foot, flat foot, I'm talking about like no shoes on. I'm a hair under 5'11". I'm like five foot 10 and three fourths. I'm basically 5'11", so I just say I'm 5'11". But whenever I put those shoes on and I put lifts on, Bro, I'm like six foot one, pushing six foot two. So that already gives me some sort of advantage immediately. And the taller you are, obviously the more notice um, you can have versus being like five six, five five even. Like you're not gonna be that much notice because some girls, they'll immediately look at guys and they're invisible to them. I'm just being real with you. So even if you're five foot 10, shit, even if I was six foot one, I would still wear thick shoes whenever I'm out. All right, so do that. So we talked about appearance, moving on to phase two now. Let's talk about some social hacks that you need to do whenever you're out in order to get more choosing signals. So once you got your appearance set, the next thing you need to do is place yourself in foot traffic to where you can be chose. A big thing I notice is that a lot of guys, whenever they go to bars and clubs, they'll kind of sit back at the bar, be in the corner of a club, basically be in areas to where they're not being noticed. So what you need to do is either you're by yourself or with a group of friends, you need to be either in the entrance of something to where people are walking in and you're getting a lot of foot traffic, or you just need to overall be where the motion is happening, where the quote unquote motion is happening in whatever venue that you're in. Sometimes me and my friends, I've been doing this since I was in college, but we'll call it a lap, like do a lap, right? And what that means is we need to walk around the club, kind of scope out who's there, get some attention, get some eyes on us too. And so that way we can be chose. I promise you the most choosing signals I've ever gotten in a club, it was from me purposely doing a lap and advertising myself. That's all it is. You need to literally advertise yourself whenever you're out. If you go in the club, kind of go back in the corner, kind of chill out and nobody's seeing you and then complain that you're not getting any choosing signals, it's because nobody saw you. So walk around the club a few times, bounce from venue to venue, get different eyeballs on you, walk in any big foot traffic environment or even place yourself where foot traffic is happening. I've implemented this strategy not only with dating, but also whenever I'm trying to do public interviews or whatever and I need to code approach women. I won't go around just kind of chasing after women. I place myself in a high foot traffic area and kind of wait for the woman and then if I get good eye contact where I see a girl I want to approach, that's when I do it. All right, so next time you're out, use that to your advantage. 
And guess what? Girls are doing the same thing too. I have stories where I was out with a, a few girls while well, I was out with this one girl and the rest of her friends. And I remember the girl telling me, she was like, all my friends are gonna leave the club and go walk. I was like, why, why are they gonna go walk? And she said, because they want some attention. So girls literally do this too, walk around so guys can look at them. But of course, they're not gonna act on it. She's a single, but everybody wants attention, right? Everybody's just fighting for that attention from the opposite gender. So advertise yourself more, trust me, it's gonna go a long way. The next social hack, whenever you wanna get truth and signals, is that you need to make eye contact. This is something that I had a big problems with and I was wondering why I wasn't getting the truths and signals that I thought. But the truth is, I was always getting them, I just was never noticing them. So I would be out with friends or whatever, and they were always telling me, oh, that girl's looking at you, or that girl, that girl's staring you down hard. And I'm like, where? And the issue is, is, is because I was so tunnel vision and I wasn't being aware of my surroundings. I wasn't looking people in the eye. And I especially wasn't looking girls in the eye. And you gotta just get over that little confidence barrier because it, it does come probably from a sense of fear of just making eye contact with people. But once you actually do it, you'll tend to realize how much you actually probably get chose and you just don't realize it. And not only that, whenever you do make eye contact with people, they're more likely, if they're not too shy, to actually make eye contact back, maybe give a smile or two. And the truth is, you never know unless you make that eye contact. And what I've learned about choosing signals too is that the eyes hold everything. You don't wanna be checking out a girl like her body or like looking away, having tunnel vision like I used to. Actually, when you're walking around, maybe doing those laps like I talk about, make literal eye contact with people, all right? They'll, they'll notice your eyes. Sometimes you'll catch them looking back. They give a, a slight smile, a slight smirk. And then from there, that's when you can enact on those choosing signals by making the eye contact. So biggest thing here is just make eye contact with people. It will be scary at first, especially if you're not used to doing it, but even just a quick glance, like you don't have to stare at them like a weirdo, like blink and just make quick eye contact. It could be half a second for a second long, for two seconds, it'll go a long way. The last social hack, guys, is the cheerleader effect. I've talked about this before, but whenever you go out in a group of other attractive men, or you, you guys just look good in a group, you're gonna be a lot more attractive than if you were by yourself, especially if you guys are walking together. So I've noticed this anytime I've ever been out with other attractive friends of mine, or maybe just as a group, we just present ourselves so well. We're dressed nice, like all attention is on us. Think about it, are you gonna notice more like a beautiful fish kind of swimming by? Or are you gonna notice more of a school of beautiful fish kind of going by, right? Of course, you're gonna notice more of the beautiful fish. And it works that way when you're trying to get choosing signals too. Now, you might have to fight between the group, like who's choosing who, was she looking at you, was she looking at me? She, yeah, I'm gonna go make their approach and you guys hold back. But truth is, you're just overall gonna get more attention on you. And then from there, you can act on that attention if you were in a group with other high value, attractive, presentable men. So that's why I'm really not a big advocate on going out by yourself not only for the social reasons, but also you have less leverage in regards to the attention you get on yourself. So if you're able to go out in a group of about three to four guys who present themselves well, who aren't nerds, who don't dress like lames, then that's gonna really help on you actually getting more attention, not only for the group, but you yourself too. All right guys, that's my full guide on choosing signals. Maybe next I'll talk about how to actually enact on it. But in the meantime, definitely get T Chanley if you want your face to be more handsome like myself. Subscribe, like, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace.